Hello, I'm Father James Kubicki of the Apostleship of Prayer, and today we celebrate the first native-born American to be canonized, Saint Elizabeth Ann Seton. She was born in New York City, was raised in the Episcopal Church, married a wealthy businessman, and had five children. In 1803, tragedy struck. She was with her husband in Italy when he suddenly took ill and died. In her time of need, a Catholic family consoled her and took care of her, and when she returned to the U.S., she became a Catholic. After her First Holy Communion, she wrote to a friend, At last, at last, God is mine and I am his. I have received him. As a result of her conversion, many of her friends rejected her, and she ended up leaving New York for a more Catholic part of the country, Baltimore. She opened a school for girls, the first free Catholic school in the U.S., and as other women joined her in this work, they formed a new religious community now known as the Sisters of Charity. Pope Paul VI canonized her in 1975. Mother Seton is a good example of how kindness and friendship are the best means to win people over to Christ. Take a moment today and think about how your friends have either helped or hindered you. Perhaps some of your friends had a negative influence on you, and as you grew deeper in your faith, they rejected you, the way many of Mother Seton's friends rejected her. Or perhaps some of them are the reason you're listening to this right now and are trying to know your faith better and to grow closer to the Lord. Now, ask yourself, what kind of friend are you? Are you a negative or positive influence on your friends? And are you willing to share with them the greatest treasure, your faith?